All right, I kind of like this star. I'm not gonna lie, I got me a whetstone. I got a sword. That's not bad, to be honest. Um, I would like to get another weapon in there. So I'm gonna roll. Okay, I'll take a Brumo cell actually. Do a little situation like this. Honestly, we could maybe even go for a spike shield situation since we do have the Walrus Tusk on sale. We can get that next round, especially if we manage to get ourselves some space. That would be wonderful. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, not too bad. Ah, we have three DPS plus we got spikes. They only got a single DPS. I think we win. Okay, I was a little bit scared there because of stamina, but we took that one home. Okay, wow. Wow, okay, uh, let's sell broom. Sword, whetstone, lump of coal. Reserving both of those. That way we can get ourselves a hero sword. Let's do a little situation like that instead turn you into a torch honestly let's not even go spiked shields i'm just gonna get the banana and fit it right there because we don't we don't really have space for spike shields i could honestly just sold the warwick's tusk there and get a banana which would have helped me out with stamina here especially going against somebody with a wooden buckler plus the healing on top of that probably would have won me that game but that's fine um boom so yeah let's go ahead and get our banana now and we're definitely gonna need this health potion probably should invest in space here more than likely more than likely i think that's the better place so let's get some space we'll call that a day i think whoa let me not let's do that instead maybe even like um i could uh do that at least all my anything dealing dps is getting above from the, the hero sword so that's the only reason why i did that i wonder what build you're going for mr rogue star Pretty interesting, but not interesting enough, my friend. Good game on that. Do I want anything here? I don't think so. Roll. Oh, a hero sword? Imagine hero long sword. I'm gonna get this. It's on sale. Roll. I'm uh, not seeing what I need right now, unfortunately, but I will do a little bit of a swap a here. here. Uh, let's do this like that. Roll. Still not seeing what I need. I say we take this banana at all. This should be the last banana that I need, realistically. So that is good. Give me some space, roll. Come on, man. I need gloves. I need a blueberry, and and I'll be I'll be good after that. Do I lose this? Versus hammers? Oh, this is gonna be close. Berserk mode is gonna be the decider here. Okay, we still win. All right, nice, nice W, nice W. Okay, we got our first set of hands. If I can give me another set of hands. That would be wonderful. Should I get this garlic here? I actually, eh, I think I'll pass on the garlic, actually. I don't even know what my highest DPS weapon is, unfortunately. That kind of sucks, not annoying, but that's fine. Um, do I move you 30% faster or 20% faster throughout the entire battle? Let's just take the 20% faster throughout the entire battle. I think that'll just be better. So yeah, I'm gonna roll here. Okay, that wasn't a bad roll. I'm gonna be honest. I'll be taking, I'm gonna take this too. Not gonna get a combination though. I'll probably just sell these Walrus Tusk eventually, but I mean, it'll help going against, you know, people like Rangers double DPS. Having two spikes helps out. You know what I mean? And I already had two gold left over. So I was kind of like, why not buy it? There goes our blueberry. Do I, yeah, I got enough money. Awesome. I don't know if I'm having a space. Probably gonna sell the Walrus Tusk here just to make up for that space that we kind of just don't have more than likely um unless i can make this work somehow i mean it's it's definitely possible just gotta figure out how it's possible okay there we go so we're not we're not selling them yet not yet you will probably get sold eventually but just it's not your time not your time. Oh, we're probably gonna lose. Versus a chili goober? Yeah, I don't know why you're going for a poison dagger on a pyromancer. <laughs> oh, maybe we won't lose. You don't have his, uh, the stamina. Okay, never mind. I'll take that back. Definitely not losing. Good game. And ding. Nice. Uh, so we need to combine that. We also need some form of mana generation, so we should probably W key for that. I don't know if I should go for a stone helmet here. I don't think so, because I need mana generation this round. Oh! Never mind, we're going this. Probably should give me some space here because that's double combinations that I need to happen. Pronto, so we're gonna sell you 
buy you. Um, how should I do this? I mean, I could theoretically just do something like that. Give me a Falcon Blade, boom, done. Uh, you can move up there, boom, Magic Shield, done. And this can go there. That can go there. That's looking pretty solid to me. I could honestly just sell some shit and then roll, but I think we're just keeping like this. I'm feeling decently confident in this. Oh, going against a spikes build though is not very, very nice. Not very, very nice at all. We're basically beating ourselves up because he has a bunch of spikes. I mean, even if we did sell items there and reroll, there was nothing we could buy to win us that game, I don't think. So I'll take that L and we'll take this W from these items. Now I could go Chieftain for the mono generation or I go Anvil because Anvil is theoretically better because we're just buying this for the mana generation. That's the only reason we'll be buying this. This helps my weapons do more damage. I'm gonna buy this instead. Now we need mana generation because without mana generation, we can't really do anything. Not seeing mana generation. Oh, but I am seeing that. I'll buy it for a crafted helmet, which I think will be nice. Damn, I should have gotten a gym box there. Damn it. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe we'll still be fine. But yeah, I should have gotten a gym box there because that would have been like immediate mana generation that I could have uh, relied on. Well, not immediate, you know what I mean? But like, you know, just in general mana generation that I probably could have relied on uh, right there. So that was definitely a mistake, but it's fine. Hopefully. Hopefully it's fine. Let's do boom, boom. That can go there. And I guess we'll just do a situation like this. No mana generation sucks, but I mean, what can I do? I guess still might win though. Hopefully, potentially. No. Nope. Oh, the stamina. Both of my weapons went. Ding. Got me a flame. Okay, we got our first form of mana generation. I mean, that's all we need. Okay, we're gonna need more than that. <laughs> that's not all we need. Definitely gonna need more than that. But at least we got some form of, of, of uh, mana generation. I'm gonna buy some space just because I rolled a few times already. I haven't really seen the items I'm looking for realistically. Probably gonna buy this fanny pack and we might as well get a flute too just for more stamina generation. But I can make this Falcon Blade faster like that. Um, let's go with... Because I want this blue bear to be as fast as possible, right? Since it's my only form of mana generation. I guess something like this will work. Put that on the side and we got a lot of space. I did not need to buy that space, but that's fine. We'll roll with this. This will work. At least we got mana generation now. So that's like extremely good. They got better mana generation to me. And then they also got claws of attack for the empowerment. But at least we're attacking double with our Falcon Blade. Nice. And then the initial damage that we gained, the plus two damage, you know what I mean? Is actually really good because that's one, two, three, four. So that's plus eight damage at the start of the game, right? Which is a lot. And then it's hitting twice on top of that. Plus the uh, damage increase utilizing Magic Torch is gnarly. Let's go ahead and get that guy. Probably should just get cheese here and say get this next round or some other round other than now. More than likely, that's probably more than likely best play. <laughs> And we could do something like this. Now we got double mana generation plus she's giving us random buffs. Hopefully it can give us mana because that would probably be the best thing in the world. I mean, realistically, what I could do is sell Walrus Tusk here and get my flute. Like, that's not bad. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, that's not bad. Um, Interesting. A little burning banner action. Look at that, starting off with 13 to 14, 14 to 15, 16, 17. We need better mana generation because this thing attacks a lot faster than we generate mana, but we still win. Oh, there goes our mana generation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's buy you. Don't know where to put you. Probably should just put you there because that's probably just the better thing to do. Um, Do this. I need a gym box. That's like... The next big thing I believe that we should probably purchase is a gym box. But this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. Not gonna lie. This does look good. We don't really need stamina potions. So let's not get that. Do I need another Corrupted Crystal? We're not doing debuffs. Um, I mean, I guess, honestly, putting double Corrupted Crystals on a Falcon Blade wouldn't be like horrible. I'll do it just to do it. You know what I mean? Do it just to do it. Ooh, Berserker Excalibur with Mountain Generation. A lot of it too. Double cheeses as well. 
This is going to be an interesting battle for sure. At least we got enough mana generation to survive a really long time. Oh, he's scaling. He's scaling. Ah, he hurts. Damn it. Spikes, bro. Every time we hit, we did 16 damage to ourselves. Let's look at the damage numbers here. 128 from spikes alone. Nasty. That's okay, though. That's okay. Let's get you. Nah, we're not getting a blood amulet. Oh, unless you got a bloody dagger. That'd be crazy. Let's roll here. Fanfare on sale. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna get it. Why not? I'm gonna get it. Hopefully, I have no regrets. <laughs> roll. Okay, we'll take both of these next round. Actually, I could just take this. Actually, I was gonna see if I could take uh, the, the Whopper Tinker too, but no. I'll just take that, put that there. That'll work for me. Yeah, this will work for me. What are we going against? Okay, a little, little, uh, little thorn bloom. A lot of thorns, man. As soon as you rock Falcon Blade, here's a thorn build. Here's a thorn build. Here's another thorn build. Thorns is the bane of my existence, and I wish I had Dracunic Orb to get rid of it. But it's fine, because we're doing 42, apparently, which is pretty crazy. Boom. Honestly, bro, I say we probably pick up this Glowing Crown. Like, that's not a bad play at all. Just because of the excess mana that we'll gain, we can use that for the invulnerability, which will help us out with our survivability, right? So that's really good. We'll pick that up, pick this up. I'm gonna reserve this mana orb, but I wanna take a look at the mana generation and see when this guy actually procs to see if we even need that extra mana orb. Cause I actually don't know if we do. Look, we're already at five. Yeah, we're definitely gonna heat it. At like a decent time in the game. Not too early, not too late. You know what I mean? So I say we don't need that other cure mana orb, but this guy is beating us. Oh, wait, Berserker Mode. I forgot about Berserker Mode. Never mind. I'll take that back. Berserker Mode saves the day. All right, so we don't need you. Um, Let's roll here. Should we get another armor? I'm not opposed to another armor. It's on sale. Let's get it. Um, Honestly, could just put a dagger here instead. Just because... Probably gonna need this to use with the armor more than likely. Let's see here. Cause I, uh, how am I going to use this with the armor? I mean, I actually have no idea how I'm gonna use this with the armor. If I were to do this instead. And then do this. Armor can go up here. And that way this can get an upgrade. Cheese goes there. That goes there. Or I guess I could do this. Yeah, let's do that. That works. Um, and then boom. Give me a roll. I'll take that. And you know what? We could get a stone helmet here. Because why not? I'm going to take the stone helmet. Just because the stone potion's on sale. And it's nice looking. I need gems, though. That's one thing I'm slacking on. This guy is a nasty double axe build. That's a lot of red jewels he's got on that bad boy. That invulnerability, though, is insane. I love when the invulnerability procs before our berserker mode procs. It helps so freaking much so freaking much good game good game my friend ding and we got a gym box i'm gonna go ahead and get this first oh i could get all but i need space so i'm brawling ah we're gonna need to sell these two i think damn give me big boy space can i get lucky can't get lucky um I th think I sacrifice a blueberry. Oh no, that's only three. Oh no, right. Yeah, I think I sacrifice a blueberry to get this combination. I think that's the better play here. Yeah, I think that's the better play. Whoa. Wait, he doesn't have a sword though. No sword means no DPS increase, which means as long as we survive this burst, they pretty much don't get stronger except for the poison. Oh, the heat though. The heat generation might be a, an issue. 
Not happy that- well, the game's over. I'm done talking, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Um, let me get you. I could get a king crown. Do I need a king crown? Actually, don't know. I forgot what the king crown does. I genuinely forgot what king, uh, king crown does. Let's, let's take a look. So king crown... It heals, protects from debuffs, and gemstones effects are 50%. We only got three rounds left. I say we fish for jewels. I don't know what kind of jewels I want though. Maybe some unhealing jewels will be good. I'm gonna buy this. Because I can use this as one of those, which helps my DPS out. We would just have to figure out, like, we, we would need more space, essentially. Yeah, that's basically all we would need is a little bit more space. I'm gonna put that in there for armor because we really don't even need the extra mana generation, right? But I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get the King Crown yet. I'm gonna get it, like, when it's towards the end. You know what I mean? Like, maybe, like, next round or something. Hopefully I can fish for some unhealing jewels. Situations like that would be great. What do we got here? Nice little activation. Avoiding that 40 poison right there is nice. But he's got a lot of poison. And it doesn't look like our stamina is going really great because he's got a, uh, a moon shield. Or is that his? Either way, he's got a lot of armor that we're just not breaking through right now. Hopefully, uh, double armor here can uh, tank a lot because he's got 150 poison on us. We lost. Because <laughs> what? Sheesh. Um, let me get you roll. Got an unhealing and a little bit of space. We can go ahead and get a combination now. Do I get this space? Um, I don't know if I get this space or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on a space. We don't really, I guess we do heal because of the glowing crown. I'm gonna put you on there instead. Nah. I'll get this. I... Uh... I could move you over there. And then move these two there. Maybe, or I could do this and fit them there. But the thing is, he's not on a Falcon Blade anymore. I don't know if that's better. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it how I had it. Just because he's on the Falcon Blade. Only reason. Only other thing I could possibly do is move everything up by one. And then do this. And that, that works. That fixes everything. <laughs> Literally fixes everything. Um, except the fact that I kind of want to get a combination off this glowing crown. But the, I, the glowing crown doesn't really need to be there, though, right? Yeah. The glowing crown doesn't need to be there. Alright, this works. Yeah, this works for me. This will work for me. Staff of Fire plus Burning, uh, Burning Blade. And he's got four blueberries, not to mention the potions he's got, and the freaking dark items that he's got. With Lantern, it's nutty. Nutty. Proc both of our crowns at the same time, it seems? I don't know. Oh, no, he's in vulnerability because he, uh, resurrected. Okay. This is a pretty even match. He's not gonna resurrect again, so we should win. Yeah, he doesn't have Phoenix. So that's a good game. Boom, got our King Crown. I'll take two space. Do I take two space? Yeah, I'll take it right there. I shall have take it right there. I could put you there. I mean, probably be better to go inside the Falcon Blade though, right? Realistically, unless I were to move everything over by one. No, that still doesn't work. <laughs> unless I move the food somewhere else. Maybe. 
We still need a combination on that side, though. Huh. I guess we could just slap one of the jewels right there. Because, yeah, we're still missing, like, one more... I mean, we could just do this. And that pretty much fixes that issue. As far as the food goes, though. I mean, we only got, what, one cheese? Cheese can go there. Um, and then we got three extra spaces up there. Crap. I'm gonna roll, maybe, for some space, I think. Didn't get space. Got space. Let's sell you and you. Or, I mean, I could just do this, I suppose. Yeah, that works. I didn't even need to buy the space. I bought the space for no reason. So yeah, boom, we got our, all of our combinations. We got a king crown for no reason, realistically. Oh, we should probably put the sockets in here, though. Oh, I wonder if I put the mana in there. Mana gain is going to be six instead of three. Oh, no, it's 50%, not 100%. Either way, it still is probably better. But then we lose, like, one damage. But maybe it's okay. Yeah, losing that one damage isn't, like, the end of the world, right? So, we'll be fine. We'll rock with this. I'm feeling confident. I'm pretty sure we're going to win versus Spike Staff. I'm a little scared now. <laughs> a little scared. I don't know if we're going to win, actually. Because Spike Staff is pretty gnarly. Plus, he's using it with uh, Mana Thirst. He's going to have so much mana generation. On the bright side, he did pop his Glowing Crown early, which is good for us. I just realized you need 12 instead of 10 for that, which honestly kind of works. Because the later you pop it, the better. Because that's where you're going to be taking most of your damage. So far, we're winning. But then again, there goes that Berserker mode. There goes that Deerwood Guardian. And it's going to last a long time, too. There goes ours, though. Plus, we got a uh, double Dragon Scout armor. 22 empowerment is nutty. I think we win, though. Yeah, we win. Our damage was just too great. 72 to 74 damage is in freaking sane. I don't even know how you got that high considering that uh this guy is 29 to 30. <laughs> and you only started with oh you started with two, four, six, eight, ten. So you started with 10 damage by default. But then again, the corrupted crystals probably was uh sent at home. Pretty freaking nasty. 50 to 53 damage on that guy. Wow. It would be pretty dope to see a build like this, but instead of using Mana Thirst, you just use a uh, Magic Torch on the Spike Staff and then the Forging Hammer so this thing can get like a bunch of damage because you're already doing Empowerment and everything. That'd be pretty interesting. Either way, good game. Good freaking game. This did really well. I actually want to see the, uh, the block numbers that we gained from that one jewel. 40? 40 is not bad, actually. Considering it's a freaking flawed sapphire, imagine it was better. Like what? <laughs> imagine it was like a better jewel or even had like another one. That's a lot of block just for like two gold. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was a good game. I enjoyed that. Good freaking game. Back in diamond.